Hello, little tutorial here. Um, I've opened up the Cacodemon and I want to animate the UVs of our little taggy friends here. So, just tab to get them enabled. Um, I'm going to have to get them all so that, first of all, find out which one's which. Control L, that means they're at the top. And they're at the bottom. B select down. R like that. Select R. Oops. No. Okay. So that's the start position. Uh, as you notice down on the timeline we've got our little keyframes here. Uh, we're going to have to nuke them. Uh, unfortunately I don't see anything in the... Um, there's no curves. There's nothing in the dope sheet. You can't just say, oh I'll just move this. It doesn't work that way. Which is a royal pain. So you have to go and nuke the whole lot. Set to UVs and clear animation. And now click on here, all of a sudden all your keyframes are gone. So, you need to go to the beginning here, we're at the start position, I've highlighted them, that seems to work. Insert, see, we've now got teeth shell, and if you move this off we now have keyframe. So if we chuck it at the end, like that roughly, and then go like that, down, Okay, and then just again highlight them all. We're at the end. Insert UVs. That has to be set to UVs again. Now, hopefully, we have a second keyframe. That's the whole thing there, going from start to finish. Now, if you want to rotate them, uh, you then have to come here and we'll come down a bit like to a quarter. Move it down about a quarter. Move that up about a quarter roughly uh, and then move that down about a quarter and then rotate a little probably the way it's better rotate a little bit R for rotate R for rotate highlight all insert now you'll notice we have another keyframe rock it back to about the quarter mark can come down to roughly where that is. See, this is the problem with this. It's very difficult to actually see kind of where you're going because it's very easy to get confused about what's going on. I'll take that a bit. I'll take that a bit. Highlight all and insert. So we should now have four UV markers with different positions. Again, when you do this, it doesn't update in here, which is really confusing. So when you open the file, the frame up or the file up, you've got the last position that you animated. You don't have what's actually going on. It's it's big, but that's what it is. It works kind of. So that's the tutorial, hope that all works. Um, sorry it's not a little bit more transparent but someone basically hacked this in Blender. Uh, but eh, it works. So anyway, hope that worked Dave and uh, any questions just give me an ask. Okay, cheers!